Hi there and welcome to another GCC revision video from Hegarty Maths. In this video we're going to talk about compound measures and in this first video on this topic we're dealing with the, uh, the concept of speed. As always, for more help with your GCC or A-level maths, do check out, uh, check out Hegarty Maths on YouTube or Twitter. Right, um, just to start with, let's introduce speed. You should know this. But uh, and the average speed is defined to be the total distance travelled divided by the total time taken in order to travel. And we usually simplify this into speed is equal to distance divided by time. Okay, now you could rearrange this equation here. You could rearrange this equation and get it in different forms so that um, S is the subject as in here or D is the subject or t is the subject. If t is the, if d is the subject, then distance must be speed multiplied by time, multiplying both sides by t, and t must be distance divided by speed, which if you multiply both sides by t and then divide by s. Now, sometimes students like to remember it using a, a, this sort of triangle here. I prefer higher students not to do that and use their algebraic manipulation techniques, but if you are stuck, um, if you want to work out the speed, it's distance over time, hence that formula. If you want to work out the distance, it's speed times time, hence that formula. And if you want to work out the time, it's distance divided by speed, hence that formula. Now the units is very important when using uh, these formulas that you're consistent with your units. Some of the common units of speed are meters per second, so distance would have to be in meters, time would have to be in seconds, or we tend to have kilometers per hour, uh, or we tend to have miles per hour. They tend to be the three types of units we're doing. So if we're told in the question uh, a distance in meters and a time in minutes, let's say, we should uh, convert to the, the time to seconds so we are in meters per second. That's all there is to really say about speed and introduction to it. I want to do four examples so we cover ourselves, all our bases for the GCSE in this regard. Firstly, here's an example one. The distance between Birmingham and Swansea is 155. So I'm going to straight away write that D is 155 and the unit is kilometres. I've got that from this part of the question. Nitesh drove from Birmingham to Swansea, i.e. this 155 kilometres, in two and a half hours. So in a different colour pen, maybe time is 2.5 hours. Work out Nitesh's average speed. Well, we know, using a different colour pen, that speed is equal to distance, okay, divided by time. So all we need to do is substitute this into this equation and we'll have our answer. So therefore, the speed must be distance which is 155 divided by 2.5 and we type that in our calculator and we get 62 as our answer so speed is 62 and the unit is kilometers per hour so kilometers per hour we're done very straightforward example two the distance from Glasgow to Liverpool is 348 kilometers right so I'm going to write that my D is 348 kilometers Susan drove from Glasgow to Liverpool ie this 348 at an average speed of 40 kilometers an hour so this time we're told the speed is equal to 40 kilometers per hour work out the time in hours and minutes so this is important so the time, rearranging our speed distance time formula, if we want to rearrange this, time is equal to distance over speed, right, actually I'll write this up here, so therefore time is equal to 348 kilometres divided by 40, so 348 divided by 40 and we get ourselves 8.7 hours because we're dealing in hours here. So 8.7 hours, right, You so you should continue down the page, I've just run out of space. It asked us to give it in hours per minute. Now we know we've got eight hours. The question is, how much is 0.7 of an hour? Well, 0.7 
of an hour, which is 60 minutes long, that's how we could work out how many minutes they are, and that's 42 minutes. So to answer the question, in terms of hours and minutes, the time is actually 8 hours and 42 minutes. 0.7 of an hour, 0.7 times 60 minutes. And we're done. Example 3, um, a conversion type one here. We just need to keep our wits about us here. Change the speed of 85 metres per second into kilometres per hour. Well, the first thing is, if you're going at 85 metres per second, how far will you go in one hour? Now, how many seconds in an hour? There are 60 seconds in a minute and 60 minutes in an hour. So that's 60 times 60, 3,600 seconds in a minute. So there are 3,600 seconds in one minute. Therefore, how many metres are you going to go? You're going to go 85 every second. So if you multiply that by 3,600, that tells you that you actually go 306,000 meters in uh, one hour, right? So that's how far you go in an hour. How many kilometers is that? Well, divide this by 1,000. This is how many meters. This is 306 kilometers per hour. And we're done. Okay, and the last question, sometimes a speed question comes up uh, in regards to um, uh, a distance time graph. So I'm just going to minimise these for now. We're going to come back to these uh, to answer the questions. So it tells us, here's, this, here's a journey. The travel graph shows some information about flight of an aeroplane from London to Rome. Okay, so let's look at this. We start our flight at 11 o'clock. We fly uh, to Rome. Presumably we stop at Rome for a period and then we fly back to London. So question A asks us, at what time did the aeroplane arrive at Rome? Well, let's draw a line up on these graphs. The aeroplane arrived at Rome. It looks at 1300, which is 1300, like that. How long did the aeroplane remain in Rome? Well, while the plane wasn't moving, it must have been in Rome. So it looks like that's one and a half hours. Okay, so it's 1430, take away 1300, which is equal to 1.5 hours. Part C, how many hours did the flight take to get back? Well, we left at, um, we left at uh, half past two and we got there at five o'clock. So it's two and a half hours. Uh, question D, work out the average speed in kilometers per hour of the airplane from London to Rome, from London to Rome. So speed is equal to distance over time which is in this case the total distance we went is 1,400 kilometres and we're dividing that by it, the, the flight took two hours. So therefore we're travelling at 700 kilometres per hour if we work that out. And lastly, part E, estimate the distance of the aeroplane from Rome at 12.30. So at 12.30 we're about here. Okay, how far more do we have to go? Well, currently it looks to me we're about at something in the region of, you know, 900 meters. So we've got to go another to 1,400. So it'd be 1,400 minus 900. So which is 500, not meters, kilometers, I'd guess. And part two, uh, 15, 12, 12. So 15, 12. If an hour is divided up, into 10 grids, each uh, square is six, so two squares would be 12. Again, that looks like 1,000 meters to zero, so it looks like about 1,000 meters, 1,000 kilometers even to me, 1,000 kilometers. Okay, and th that's the distance. Oh, sorry, my apologies, the distance from Rome. How far is this distance from Rome, which is up here? Well, if that's 1,000, then that's 1,400. That must be uh, 1,400 take away 1,000, which is actually equal to 400 kilometres. And as you can see, you're slightly closer there. You look like you're about 100 kilometres closer at this point to Rome than you were at this point. And we're done. They are all the examples and we're complete. 
Okay, please, uh, hopefully that's enough for you and it helped you uh, revise speed. Do tune in for the next video, video where we talk about density, which comes up a lot in the exams, and we'll move on then to uh, some conversions and some of the trickier questions that come up in the GCSE involving speed and density and converting uh, units. So check it out for now um, and speak to you again sometime.